If you've always thought video editing is super hard and takes ages, I've got some good news for you. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use the basic tools in After Effects, break down what layers are, and the different types, show you how to put a 2D object into 3D space, explain curves, and how to animate any effect, and of course, how to render your video in high quality. First, we're gonna create a new project. Name it whatever you like. Set the resolution to 16 by nine. Adjust the frame rate to 30 and change the project's duration. Done. You're already on your way to becoming a pro editor. Just a few more steps. At the top, you'll see different tools like text creation, object selection, masking, and other. Now, using the shortcut control plus Alt plus Y, we'll create an adjustment layer. This layer is where you can apply effects later. Sure, you could just slap effects directly onto your clip, but trust me, I'll show you why the adjustment layer is the better choice later. Next, let's dive into settings. Go to the Labels tab, where you can change the color of any layer if you're not a fan of the default ones. Why am I even telling you this? I added an image, and now we need to scale it to fill the screen. To do this, click the arrow next to the layer, go to Transform, and adjust the scale. Or just press S, and the Scale option pops right up. Let's jump into the Effects panel and apply any effect to our adjustment layer. Make sure the adjustment layer is above photo and you'll see the effect applied. Adjust the values a little bit. You can also change the blending mode on the adjustment layer, which allows you to combine effects in creative ways, opening up endless possibilities for unique results. Now, let's add some other layers. Press Ctrl plus Y to create a solid color layer, or right-click to select solid layer from the menu. We'll also add a null object and a camera. Next, I'll show you how to animate something, like the scale parameter. Open it, click the stopwatch icon, and a keyframe will appear on your timeline. Move to a different frame, change the value, and a new keyframe pops up. Play it back, and you've got animation. Null objects are super handy for combining animations across multiple layers. Link your layer to the null object, then animate the null object itself, and your linked layer moves along with it. Quickly explaining keyframe animation. I've animated a movement, and if you select the keyframes and right-click, you can adjust the animation speed. It's easier to understand this visually on the graph. Select your keyframes, click this button, and the graph editor opens up. Here, you can tweak the curve for smoother animations. For example, I'll adjust the scale parameter. You'll notice the animation starts fast, then slow down. There are plugins to simplify graph editing, but I'll save that for another video. Now let me show you how to place a 2D image in 3D space. Click this button and new options will appear in the transform panel. Play around with them to see what each one does. We'll add another null object, make it 3D, and parent our camera layer to it. Now, instead of rotating a single object, you can move the entire scene in 3D space. To spice things up, I'll duplicate the image layer with Ctrl plus D. Oh, and here's a crucial shortcut, Ctrl plus Shift plus D. It splits a layer, so so you can delete or move specific parts. Now I'll quickly add a few random effects and go to the render queue by pressing Ctrl plus M. Choose H.264 and don't change anything else. Click here to select where to save the project, name it, and click render. But wait, there's a way to improve render quality. You'll need Adobe Media Encoder and it must be the same version as After Effects. Click here to open Media Encoder. Once it's open, tweak a few settings. Scroll down, check the boxes, change 4.1 to 5.2, and adjust the bitrate. Bitrate is crucial for render quality. If your project isn't too heavy, set it to 20 to 50. Finally, pick where to save the video, name it, and click render. 